then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Terry Terror. Quite clearly, this game is an early access, but this actually looks like quite a promising concept. The Dark Wood. Seeing as this child has been left all alone with nobody to save him, I think it may be a fair assumption to say that's what his mother is out playing with. What on God's green cocking earth is that? I don't even have a weapon yet. I'm buggered. You see, this is a roguelite, you cheeky bastards, where the goal is to lure these little shitty bastards into the traps because you don't have any goddamn weapons for the most part. You can find them, but that in itself is a goddamn challenge. You see, this is a game where you're not the only one that ends up getting a difficulty spike from the environment. That's it, you goddamn ba- oh shit. Oh, d how did everything just miss me? How unfortunately terrible am I, and yet how lucky am I in the same goddamn breath? Get the item in 30 seconds? Where the hell is it? I like how I've just been told to get to something in 30 seconds, yet I have absolutely no knowledge of where it actually goddamn is. I've got to avoid all these swinging goddamn axes. This is a child's dream slash nightmare, by the way. Oh god, it really is true what they say. A child has the most active imagination. What? Is that a, is that a grin on legs? No! Double kill, bitch. God, I just avoided getting my little Tootsie Roll toasted. And I almost just walked face first into a sodding spike. Hornetto? Is that a joke on Cornetto? Is that oh no, this is the boss. Oh, so it is. <laughs> I thought it was the area you were listing. You, you literally have a boss that's a Cornetto joke. <gasps> Jesus! That didn't end well for me, did it? How do I get out of this? What? God, that is... How many times is that going to happen to me? What do I do? What do oh, there's a giant... That's what I do. I have to go from side to side and hit the thing. Interesting. The challenge is the environment again. It's one of the reasons why I decided to goddamn cover it. I'm not all just gigs and gags. I quite like covering things that show some promise. You have to avoid like three goddamn things. The sp- uh, The spikes down here, the sodding spinning shit over there, and never mind him. Nobs! Alright, I did it. I almost died, but I did it. And I got a- I got ten gold Lego bricks. Something that I can put at the side of my father's bed, so that he'll end up suffering infinitely more pain than I ever could in this goddamn nightmare. Is that candy floss with a face? And we've got a bat. Crack a lack a ding dong. I love the fact that the teddy bear works on a boomerang mechanic, so that way when it comes back it stuns him a goddamn. But you shoot, don't. I would have expected that thing to shoot! What the hell was that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it with things killing themselves? I'm supposed to be leading them into the goddamn traps, and they do the goddamn work for me. Special boss? What the. Uh, Oh my god, the Lego bricks are actually an item that you put down on the floor for them to to, to, to stand on. That's, that's genius. There you go. Suck mine. Apparently I'm heartless. Or it was heartless. I don't know, either way I just- Oh, I got a bow. Oh, I'm much faster. Tighter shoelaces. That looked like a pretty little goddamn ribbon bow. I couldn't have been further from the truth. That is a grin with a face. That looks like- That looks like Glowbox from Rayman. <coughs> Only mini and demonic. So I can just level up. I think I'll definitely pick speed. Huh. The more you play, the better you get. Really? You just drop me face first into all of this? Screw yourselves. That was a triple- It should have been a triple kill. Why didn't you goddamn die? Ah, oh, Nobs is another one. So just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, the enemies are smart enough to avoid when a goddamn pillar of acid is coming about, but when there's a fire, no, no, they'll walk face first right into it. So I can either get a burger, Santa's stocking, or a book. Pointy socks. That's what that was. I could have sworn that was Santa's stocking or some shit, and instead it's just pointy socks. Oh god, I get pointy socks next thing you know, I'm fighting this giant goddamn thing. Knob off! Jesus! These bosses don't get easier as time goes on, it seems. I almost walked face first into that one. You know, I think when I leveled up, I probably should have picked bloody health. God, that was close. And that barely hit him. <laughs> Oh, come on! It was so close, goddammit! Instead of it being the average roguelite, where it's just standard trial by fire and beat the shit out of things, you have to use the environment to your advantage and lead things into others and sometimes activate said traps. Knob off, you weird little grinning shit. I'm immune during the- Oh my god, I forgot I could dash. Oh my god. I forgot I could dash. This has been an ability the entire goddamn time. I am so stupid. Considering how he was transporting around the place, I think it's safe to say that he was skid out of luck. And considering the fact skid marks is a thing, that joke still works. What the holy shit is this thing? We've gone from weird little cute things to a... Okay, that was lucky. To a goddamn giant ogre. You what, mate? Never mind the fact this is a one-eyed monster. This is a euphemism for a fucking cock. This is pretty much the closest thing little Timmy's ever gonna have to a wet dream, isn't it? Will you stop it? This boss... This boss is no joke. And I keep forgetting to dash. And I like the fact that it's a one-eyed monster, and I said it's a cock. And it's got that bloody weapon just spinning around simulating a clock. Lose the L, and that's another goddamn hint to what this is supposed to be about. You are a piece of shit. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. And you're 
dead. What is it with me getting out of bosses and only having like one health by the end of it? I'm screwed! Is that a fucking smiling pizza? Give me a break with it. Give me a break! I have one health and I'm being chased by a piece of pizza! Oh, for God. Yeah, that's a fucking half eaten taco! What is going on? What is this child's nightmare and why? Why? <laughs> He's tortured by food, he's a bulimic for fuck's sake! I shouldn't make light of that, that's a legitimate thing, I apologise, but that's the first thing that came to mind, is you can't blame me for that. I mean, at one point he's having nightmares about bloody pizza, and... and candy floss with a face, The next thing you know, it's a goddamn vampiric bat shooting red rings at him! Oh shit, I walked right into the sp I died on a bonus stage! I died on a bonus stage, man! You can't get much worse than that! What? That is an eyeball that is jumping. How does... how does that work? How does that work? How can you see? You see, this is the truly difficult one. You've got to avoid all the things as well as the trap itself that you're activating and not getting stuck on corners. What the hell is wrong with me? Considering this is Bossy's weapon of choice, I think it's safe to say this has provided a difficulty spike for me. You know, considering my weapon of choice, you're really gonna have to bear in mind that as I am playing as a child, it's only fair that I have the mind of one. Who am I playing as? Brand goddamn stock! Because of all the goddamn eyeballs, I'm beginning to think that the Three-Eyed Raven's coming into effect goddamn again. Oh, free candy! How sweet of you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But clearly not, because I knew what I was saying! What the fuck? I just came with a gold brick, motherfucker! Why are you still here? The slower? I like getting the familiars that circle you. I, I like how his effect is the slower and he's the fastest fucking thing I've seen all game. A cupcake? Oh, Max Life Plus Four! It's always nice getting that when it doesn't have to give you the life, so it's just, hey, here's some empty containers that you could benefit from if we weren't such a bunch of pricks. Thank you, boss generator, for making that easy for me. That's it, walk this- you- no, stay there. Just, God damn it. Although I've got to say, it would have been a hell of a lot more fitting if there was some kind of swinging blade, because I could have had a slice of pizza. That's it, walk this way. Of all the things that should have seen this coming, you were one of- them. And he did. Oh, I got the turtle again! Oh my god, my followers. The tortoise and the hare. Oh my Christ, what is that giant tic-tac-toe looking motherfucker? <laughs> what is that? You know, if we're gonna make a Jaws analogy with all your teeth, safe to say we're gonna need a bigger bed. Get it? Cause this is, this is a nightmare. I really do wish this thing would stop following me so sodding closely. I also wish I'd stop prematurely ejaculating my shots. There we go! Suck my knob. What is this? What? It, this child is mentally fucked. What the hell? That was chaotic. Get away from me. I c Oh, never mind, I didn't miss. Thank God this bloody bear is boomerang. Finally! That took a day in forever. The Void? I look forward to seeing Kazix and Cogmore. Okay, it's called The Void, and yet it looks like cake frosting on flesh. Oh, why have you got to give me the defeat the enemy to think when I'm low on life? What the soggy knob? Seriously with this? Oh, it's that disgusting mouth thing again. Come on, I was pinned! I need to kill this thing in so many- Oh, what the f- <sighs> I just leveled up like four times. This game lives up to its name, as I just got Teddy Terror apart. That was actually quite a lot of fun. I was pleasantly surprised with this game. I believe the publisher was kind enough to throw this game my way. It looked, as said, interesting in concept. While you could say it is just another goddamn roguelite, I think the way it goes about it is a lot more interesting, and bear in mind that it is early access and no way near done, this could end up being something pretty goddamn special when it's finished. The idea of taking advantage of your environment over just simply hacking and slashing through shit in a roguelite is good, in my opinion. In far too many games, the traps exclusively affect you, or is this the gimmick is for you to use them against the enemies? Which really doesn't make sense considering the fact it's your nightmare and you have control of the environment itself. So, quite clearly, that is where I'll be ending this episode. Please do remember that your continued interest, enthusiasm, and support for a series such as this is what keeps it alive and well. So remember to broadcast that to me in every single way imaginable. Real quick, I'm going to have to recommend to you that you watch Tomato Gaming, because his content is fantastic and his channel is so underappreciated in the grand scheme of things, he should be fucking way up there. Several hundred thousand subscribers, and yet there he sits below 70,000 somehow. And do me a favour and help remedy that situation by at least giving him a chance. And if you liked my previous Nintendo video and quick skits and comedy bits, then Chadtronic is the guy for you. Also a greatly underappreciated channel that deserves some more attention, so I advise that you at least give him a chance. I, I love him and i like to think that you would too. And if you're a fan of more complete playthroughs of things, as I've been told that cutting so much out of my witchy stuff isn't the best for some people, then for the love of all things holy, go and watch Hearts Bros, because they are the most underappreciated channel that I'm ever going to feature, most likely. 
They have under a thousand subscribers and deserve over 20. They're funny, charming and likeable, so at the very least I recommend that you give them a chance. And one final thing, I humbly request that you follow me on Twitch, Twitter and my alternate channel, because there's something on all of those for all of you. But that aside, I'd like to think that you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it, and assuming that you do, please do like the video to let me know, and assuming that you did, then I think it's safe to say that seeing as I've wanted an excuse to make this joke, we're just going to go ahead and go with it. Going off of the name of the game and the suffering that I endured through all of this, then I think that a fair statement to make would be that you're telling me apart, Lisa. Because it's called Teddy Terror, and you're telling me apart. How the fuck do I have this as a job?